self-defense applications from Kata. Today we're going to be working on uh, the Gekasai series of Kata, just a small section where you've got these kind of uh, these two inside blocks from here coming forward like so in Sanchi. All right. So we use Sensei Jack, and it's quite unusual two blocks coming forward. Um, but you know this is this is what we use it for for some sort of practical self defence applications. So uh, first thing we're going to have someone grabbing hold of you. There's loads of cool stuff you can do from here. So ultimately we want to pull this towards us at like the inside block. So you could use the material. You know if, if someone's wearing clothes, you can you can pull it, break the posture, puts them in a good position for us to do our second inside block. You can do something not very nice. This is probably the least favourite one for everybody, and this is grabbing the flesh, the gouging. Yeah, you know, we grab, and it's like any of the flesh where the sun doesn't shine too. Do you know what I mean? The stuff that you kind of bump here, this stuff on the inside here is all the not nasty, nasty stuff. So just because you're a partner, you can play around. Do each finger. And it's quite painful, yeah? So be nice to your partner. But, uh, and then you've got that section there. All right, that will definitely buy compliance for you to break their posture and pull them. Last one is in between. In between the bicep and the tricep, in that space in there, sort of near the, the elbow joint, you're just gonna dig your thumb in there. And that is very painful, you can pulse it. Really, really painful. And again, you're pulling this inside block to here. So, however which way you decide to do it, I'm going to be nice to sense Jack, because he's taking a bit of a pasting today, and we're going to bring it into there like so, all right? The second inside block, yeah? This one is going to wrap all the way round. Now, you might have heard your instructor tell you to keep your inside block tight and move from the elbow, yeah? Not kind of doing these weird, like sort of wild inside blocks, if you keep this nice and tight look, I stop any gaps, I get the crease right underneath his chin, and then the angle that I have to turn is a lot less to get a reaction, and you get like a head crank from there. Now from there, we've also got a Hikate, haven't we? We could pull this tighter, or you can get this arm, and you can have an arm bar from there across you, like so. Now, that works pretty well from here, but think about hips. When you do an inside block, you turn your hips. Yeah, they both go a lot easier. And you can move them around. You've got total compliance, uh, and you can stay safe and in good position to win the fight. All right? So just one more time, let's break that down. Grab, pull here, bang, right across. Break as I pull, squeeze. I've got both the arm bar and the head crank, and then I can sort them out from there. All right, leave and remove yourself from the situation. All right, there's just uh, some really, really simple stuff that you can do with those two inside blocks in Get the Side. Give it a go, being nice to your partner like I was. All right, and we will see you again next time.